Stretching does not work. In this video, I'm gonna make the argument for why that is, and what I'd like you to do is to put in the comments section why you think I'm wrong. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience. Not a week goes by that patients come in and they say, oh, I've been stretching my hamstring for years and I still can't touch my toes or people have an injury to their spine and they keep stretching their spine and it just doesn't seem to, to help them. And then we do various treatments on them and we teach them about things I'm gonna teach with you and their pain goes away. Why is that? Why does stretching not work? Well, first of all, let's, let's cut to the chase. The reality is there is no research to support that stretching prevents injuries. Now, one of the best examples of this are runners and runners get a lot of injuries. They get them in their calves, they get them in their feet, their knees, their hips, their back. And so what a great group to study are runners, uh, particularly middle-aged runners, because it seems like they're always injured. So if you get, take a bunch of people like that and you give them stretching exercises, the question is, is there any research to support that passive stretching will prevent injuries? The answer is no, there's no research to support that. Yet for the last 50 years, people have been stretching 30 seconds each side, uh, stretching their hamstrings, hoping that they'll prevent uh, knee injuries and such. There is one caveat, and that is that if there's an imbalance between right and left side, there is some research to support that that is a predictor of injury. So in other words, if your hamstrings on your left are real loose and your hamstrings on your right are real tight, that is a good predictor of injury rates. But the million dollar question is, why is that right hamstring so tight? Most of the time, it's not because the actual hamstring is tight, it's because there's a sciatic condition that's causing neurologically that muscle to be tight. But regardless of that, the point is, is that if your muscles are of equal length on both sides, stretching is unlikely to help you prevent injury. If you thought this video was interesting, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments section below. If you have any questions or concerns about this video, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching.